Hi, y'all. Welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille, and I will be doing a daily tarot for all signs, and that is every sign in the zodiac for January 31st, 2024. Now, y'all already know I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason. So if you're watching this, it's something you need to hear. This was on the bottom, y'all, the crumbling. And I saw this when I started folding these cards, or I shuffle a little bit before the reading. <laughs> the crumbling. That just, just, just like the tower. But it's an oracle card. So it's just something much more. Thank you, spirit. It could be something in a way that you're thinking needs to fall away. Okay, now, if this is don't stop, I'm going to be happy. <sighs> Yo, choose a new direction, okay? <laughs> so crumbling jumped out. Then we got choose a new direction. Okay, all right. All right, ancestors, what are you going to add to this reading, huh? Ancestor Spirit Oracle Deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, a moon, a set, a soon. What? What are you adding to this reading? Thank you, Spirit Guides, for your wisdom. You guys remember this is just a tool, okay? You, you are the catalyst to everything you want to do in life. All right. So if something crumbles, you pick the pieces up and build you a mansion with it. All right. Just remember that okay spirit wanted me to tell you that so somebody out there needed to hear that if it's crumbling right now it's okay it's let it fall you think them pieces pick it up and make it better <sighs> then you can teach and share and still instruct and educate others on how you got there to help them yes spirit guys come on now because it takes us it takes a village y'all we are in this together and we have to make sure that we realize that each one teach one and we can help elevate another. But we have to elevate ourselves first. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Yes. What is Green Men's Wisdom want to add to this reading for the 31st of January? It's the last day in January already. Can y'all believe that? Whew. All right. Green Men's Wisdom is adding ash. Ash. Y'all already know when ash is in a reading, it's time to let it go, burn it all down, and head another way, another road. Hey, choose a new direction. Yo, this is amazing. Thank you, spirit guys. What else do we need to hear? What else do we need to hear? Yes, spirit. Thank you so much. This is the Affirmator Cheryl Deck. Thank you, spirit guys, angels, ancestors, set, assume. Ra, I mean, what do we all need to hear? What are you wanting to add to this reading? And this is the Affirmator's Tarot deck, if I failed to say it, but I think I did. But look, the Ace of Wands, it, cur it curved. I was like, hmm, maybe I'm supposed to take it. Now, if we get that, that means I, I was supposed to take it. We're going to shuffle one more time. Look at that, the star. Well, that was the sun. All right. First card out. The three of cups. It's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate with your friends. The strength card. Leo the lion. And the moon is in Leo right now. Yes. That's number eight, too. And then judgment. Okay. Judgment. Don't even worry. Let all that ish go. Stop judging yourself because you've got to grow. Let's get into it. Two major arcana, too. All right, the crumbling. I do believe that's an action card. I mean, of course, it should be an action card, letting everything crumble. But no, the crumbling, it's an inquiry card. Well, I guess. Um, I should know that as long as I've been using this deck. What are you clinging on to? Let's get rid of these so I can read. There is a shift happening right now where everything inauthentic can no longer survive. Relationships, jobs, social structures, anything built on shaky ground is destined to tumble down. It's happening to bring you back home to who you truly are, both individually and to a society as a whole. So you can live a life that is in alignment with who you truly are. When you're in the thick of it, it can feel like a personal attack from the universe. Have faith because the difficult times will be your defining moments. You will be reborn in the fire. You are being called to surrender. 
to stop trying to hold it all together, to loosen your grip, to let the crumbling occur. It may be difficult at first, but in the end, the sooner you let go, the sooner the rebirthing will occur. What are you trying to hold together? What are you doing your best to avoid? How are you trying to pretend everything is okay? You may have what it takes to, you, excuse me, you have what it takes to allow what is falling away to tumble and fall. Once the tower has crumbled, you will be able to rebuild your home on solid ground with mighty foundations and a view that is magnificent, so magnificent that it will take your breath away each new morn. Kali, the goddess of destruction, and the Black Madonna are with you now. Lay it all on their altar. They can hold it all. They, they sure can. All right. And then we've got choose a new direction. The time has come to choose a new direction for your life. The circumstances that you find yourself living in may seem unfulfilling or perhaps your heart is full of discontent. You know that there is something more out in the world for you. And you've been procrastinating following the guidance of your angels. Make a conscious choice to be the person you are meant to be. Create an action plan for yourself that leads you in the direction of your divine life purpose. Begin taking steps immediately toward a happier future. Come on, spirits, and then teach and share. Yes, y'all. <laughs> boom, boom. Boom, bang. Okay, teach and share. Teach and share. Buddhism was introduced to Tibet in the 7th century, where it developed in relative isolation. Over the centuries, the unique culture, identity, and language of the region became inseparable, inseparably linked to the Tibetan Buddhism, where great emphasis is placed on the spiritual masters and teachers of the Dharma. These teachers called lamas complete extensive study over many years to prepare for their role in providing healing, initiations, and ceremonies in teaching their traditions, beliefs, insights, and wisdom. The lamas, monks, and nuns also have the added responsibility of protecting and promoting Tibet's environment, language, and culture. Tibetan lamas and monks devote their lives to the study and practices of Buddhism. However, religious practice is part of the daily life for most Tibetans. Many families throughout the ages have proudly sent a child to a monastery to be educated as a monk. The ancestors speak. You are not alone. You may be questioning why you are here and what your true purpose is. This card appeared to let you know that you are a natural teacher and it is part of your life purpose. You don't need to be a school teacher or a child care worker. You can show people a new way of being or looking at the world. You may be teaching your children or grandchildren everyday things, or you may be encouraging a friend to try something new or different. Value the wisdom and skills you can pass to others. The divinatory meaning. Look at the ways you can incorporate teaching or mentoring into your life so others may benefit. You have the ability to connect with people from all walks of life and show them the way. Try not to overthink this aspect of your purpose. You may be already teaching others without even realizing it. Enjoy sharing your gifts with others. All right. And then we got Ash. 48. Again, we got 248, y'all. 48, 48. That is a sign. Spirit trying to talk to you. That is 12, which is three. Okay. Spirit speaking. <laughs> Strength grows from deep roots. Strength comes in many forms and is often wrongly confused with power. It can also allude to endurance, the ability to survive in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. One of the most powerful characteristics of humanity Strength endlessly represents itself in the darker pages of our history and is often exhibited in the desire to protect a piece of land or to die for the needs of one's country. Such feelings arise from a sense of rootedness of belonging to a particular place. Inner strength, the gift of a spiritual presence within each individual, also lends itself to the imagery of the tree whose life-giving sap courses through it like blood drawing on the energy of the earth to give it the strength to grow. Growth itself is another aspect of strength. Since without inner resources, we may cease to grow and find ourselves increasingly weakened. Whatever you may be looking for, ash appearing in a reading instructs you to consult your roots 
and to be sure of your inner direction before you act. Right? And look, we got strength twice. Come on, spirit. All right, so then we've got the three of cups, water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. These cups are definitely raised in a cheers position, and you can bet they're held by your nearest, dearest ride or dies. This trio is all about the amazing social relationships in your life and is rooting for you to cherish what's best about your besties. Clear the deck for some serious, not serious quality time. Put your friends, family, relatives on the calendar and raise a tumbler of franzia to the unconditional, rare and mystical in for the long haul love you share. Here's the affirmation. I'll never take for granted how lucky I am to be so treasured by people who are perfect treasures. And I have a lot of good friends. I don't have a lot of friends. I have a lot of good friends. All right. We got strength. Leo the lion. And we are in Leo season. Well, in Leo in the moon season. The moon is in Leo right now. There's no great mystery in the meaning of this card. It indicates strength, fortitude, and the ability to face your challenges head on. If you've been questioning your abilities, doubting your courage, or playing the victim, it is time to embrace your inner lion and charge forth with conviction. Consider this the roar that ignites your furnace of fearlessness and inspires you to tackle any obstacle that comes your way. And if you need to, wrap your hair into a nice intimidating bang. It honestly can't hurt. Here's the affirmation. I am lion. Hear me roar. It's in my pillow when no one's around. Psych, you better roar everywhere you go, you shining bright light. So we got judgment and you've been judging yourself and it's time to let it go. Imagine you're at the end of your life. Looking back on this moment with total clarity. There are many paths before you, but you can see clearly which ones lead to the same old negative bullshit and which ones get you to an express elevator, or excuse me, express escalator straight up to the higher dimension. Trust that you're seeing things clearly and take advantage of it. Drop any guilt, sorrow, or other cumbersome baggage from your past and spring to those magical moving stairs, baby. As the hero of your story, you owe it to yourself to accept the call of the blissful future waiting for you. Oh, and not to worry, you'll get a whole new set of baggage on the way up. All right, here's the affirmation. I'm worthy of my highest potential and I am totally ready to live my best life just as soon as I finish binge watching this TV show. Psych, get up and let's go. It is time. A way of thinking, a way that you are living, a process that you are dealing with. We got to start anew three times. We got the strength that you are capable twice. And it is time to teach. It is time to share your wisdom, your gift. Stop looking at what you've done and judging yourself about it. Start looking at today. My walk and talk. Listen to my walk and talk. And there was a rap that just came straight from, from my head. Yesterday is already gone. It's never coming back. So focus on today and what you can do for you today to get you where you need to be. You stay stuck in the past. How can you follow the goals and the dreams and the aspirations that you know you're meant to? How can you achieve what you know your purpose is if you keep doubting yourself and living in the past? It is time to let it all go so you can rebuild on a firm foundation. You know what you need to do. Now it's time for you to do it because the cards are telling you, stop waiting, allow it to crumble away and rebuild because you, my friend, have built what you have so far. You are definitely capable and have the strength, the strength to rebuild. Stop being afraid. Recognize the power you have inside. And continue to move forward every day that you're given breath to breathe, to move in your purpose. So you can teach others to refrain from living in fear. You can accomplish it. Let's go.
Thank you guys so much for coming to Lions and Tarot. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. It's Lions underscore Den underscore Tarot. And follow me on Insta or excuse me, on YouTube. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Camille in the Lions Den. You guys, you want a personal reading with me? The information is in the comments below. I want to thank George. He is a friend. I have known this man for a while. And he told me today, never stop doing my readings. So you guys, they're coming at you. Thank you, George. Y'all be blessed. Let the wall crumble and rebuild with all those bricks you get.